Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're looking at a new release from Stoger called the STR-9F full-size 9mm handgun that has a 4.7 inch barrel and 17 round mags. If you know the history, you know they started out in 2019 with the STR-9 with a 4.1 inch barrel, 15 round mags. Then they came out with the STR-9C with a 3.8 inch barrel, 13 round mags. All are budget priced, including the STR-9F. And for 2022, they have the subcompact model with 10 round mags and a three and a half inch barrel and the full size. I went with the full size. I love full size handguns. And I think Stoger did a very nice job. And they did not raise the MSRP. This model here with one back strap, one magazine, pistol, lock, paperwork, everything else. 329 MSRP and I think that is a great deal. One of the things I noticed right away was they went with a flat face trigger. It does have a trigger bar safety in there. If we look at the STR9C you can see that's a rounded trigger. Same grip texturing, very deep slide serrations on both but here we have the longer barrel 4.7 inch and 17 round mags. It's labeled 15 rounds but you can see that there's some extra real estate in there to add a couple more rounds. Take a look at the pistol. We can see that it does have metal three dot sights, rather large dots too, pick up quite a bit. Nice sight radius there, real long. Already mentioned the flat face trigger, full pick rail, and a medium back strap it comes with, which is fine by me. That fits my, what I consider average size hands really well. If you look at the grip texture, you can see slight grooves there, but they don't interfere with my grip and my finger placement on the grip, and I'm happy for that. I cannot say that with several other models, but it still has the deep cut slide serrations and that longer sight radius. I, I think it's a fine handgun. The STR-9 that I had and the STR-9C that I currently have have all performed very well and I have no doubt that this will perform just as well. If we look at the slide stop we can see it sits flush very consistent with the models okay real, real flush there and a pretty wide trigger guard you can see it bevels down a little bit undercut right there and an overall nice feel. If we check out the trigger we will see that it's got a nice crisp break no over travel with a very short reset. I like the Stoger triggers. I like what they did. They they have some, you know, the STR9 series, it's now a series. They, they make them optic ready. They have some with threaded barrels and that always jacks up the price a bit. They, they also offer options, night sight, additional back straps, additional magazines, whatever you want. There, there's an increased cost with that as we would expect. But I love full-size handguns and I think they did a very nice job. Now, I did bring out the Ruger American Competition. This has a five inch barrel, 17 round mags. Probably the best that I could think of to compare. You can see the Stoger is a little bit shorter with the shorter barrel length right there. And if we look at the grip length, we'll see that it's just about the same. If I put that mag back in there, that'll make up for that quarter inch. But the grip length is approximately the same as the Ruger American Competition. Let's go ahead and check this thing out. We'll take it apart here. One of the things I like that Stoger did was they didn't cheap out. And what I mean by that was they went with metal sights and a steel guide rod. It's a captured guide rod with a single spring and here is your 4.7 inch barrel easy disassemble same as the Glock it does have those takedown levers and I I do appreciate the all steel guide rod and easy disassemble and reassemble let's go ahead and get it on the scale I like what they did with the STR 9s I think they did a nice job I currently have two of them and this is weighing in at one pound, uh, nine and seven eighths ounces. We move that to just ounces, 25, 26 ounces. It's not making its mind up just for comparative purposes. 34 ounces, both are unloaded. But if we throw in 
17 rounds. We'll see that it's weighing in at 33 and an eighth carry round there. 33 and 5 8. 33 and a half ounces for a full size handgun, which I think is right there. Like a lot of compact size handguns loaded will weigh that. So I, I think it's a bit lighter, you know, polymer frame, striker fire. It's a it's a simple design, but it is pretty reliable. The the STR nines that I've had and currently have have been very reliable. They compare well with other guns, and the MSRP of three twenty nine I think is a great deal. I I think it's a phenomenal deal. Three twenty nine. Now people have said that Stoger mags are hard to come by, and that may be true. I I haven't you know I've always gone the cheap route three. 329 I haven't really upgraded much but if they're hard to come by then maybe that's part of the deal that you get with a budget price handgun but I do think it's a nice gun I like that flat trigger I like the five and a half trigger pound weight and I think Stoger came out with the full size handgun that I'm going to enjoy and I think you may enjoy it I'm going to take it to the range shortly we'll see how it runs and all expectations is that it will do quite well. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.